everyone, it's Kim, the homeschooling Grammy, and today I am going to be sharing with you how I am going to use this awesome little cart in our homeschool for the 2021-2022 homeschool year. That is a mouthful. I'll try to say that a couple of times really quickly. Um, as we begin our new journey with Sunlight Curriculum, I am so excited to share this with you. So if you are interested, please stick around and we will get started. tripod probably wasn't going to be the easiest way to do this and I was looking at my intro you guys need to excuse how I look lately my illness is kicking my butt I look like junk <laughs> I'm just saying I'm not looking so hot lately all right so um as you can see that this cart has three tiers to it all right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it around and I'm going to explain to you how I decided to break up my sunlight books um, and what I plan on doing as we are going through the books. So if any of you are interested, let me know. You see this big old thing down here? Let me just show this thing to you. It weighs a ton. So they send this to you when you get some, you know, your sunlight package. This was all stuff that I put in here and I organized myself yesterday. I want to say it took me probably a couple of hours to get it all organized in here because you have to go through each piece of paper separately and whatever. But now that it's done, I really like how it's set up. I like that I don't have to think a whole lot. This just tells me <laughs> what I need to do next. But if you're interested, let me know and I will do a flip through. Um, because, you know, being a new sunlight person myself, that book's heavy, <laughs> being a new sunlight person myself, you know, it took me a few minutes to figure it out. Yeah. Once I got rolling, it was cool. But yeah. All right. So let me turn this around and I'm going to share with you how we are going to use these lovelies. I'm so excited. Look at all this literature. If you're a book lover. Oh my goodness, like seriously, if you're a book lover. So since I just got done showing you this big old binder, I may as well start there. So in the bottom shelf, I am putting our binder. And then also what I have set in here is the um, World Mar Markable Map. And this is a great big map. It's huge like wall size. There's the world map and there's the United States map in here. And it's really, really awesome. And because on oh, my personal information, sorry. <laughs> um, and because we don't have a homeschool room per se anymore. Um, and I will link, if I think of it, I will link in the I cards, um, how our homeschool room is I put that loosely <laughs> and you can take a look at what we do so let me move up to tier number two since it's the closest to me and so what I have done is everything from here back is all science related so these are all of the books that we're going to be using for science these are the supplies for the science experiments the Inquisit Kids, Discover and Do Level 1, plus all the books that are going to be used in the science portion. And then on this side are all of the readers. These are all the books that Hope is going to be reading. Um, some of them on her own. Some of them I may have her read aloud to us. I haven't really decided yet. Um, you know, I'm a fly by the seat of my pants type girl even though, you know, the curriculum may say or suggest to do something one way or another, I'm going to do it the way it works for us. And that includes how I put together um, the binder. Um, I put it together to work for us. And I really suggest that, you know, as homeschooling moms or dads, families, that that's what you do. You make the curriculum work for you. You don't work for the curriculum. That's very important. 
And so on this top shelf right here is everything to do with history and Bible. So there's all kinds of books up here, as you see. Tons and tons of books. The Timeline, the Usborne Book of the World, Time Traveler, da 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 And I actually plan on, I'm doing a collaboration, and I'm going to be going through each subject that I'm going to that we're going to be doing in our homeschool and I'm going to show you exactly what we are going to be using exactly what we are going to be doing so please make sure that you stay tuned to my channel so that you will know exactly what we have coming up in the near future but look at how amazing these books are just wonderful wonderful books read alouds these are all read alouds on this end these are bible and history on this end um, we are so, so excited. So I know you're thinking, okay, not a big deal. Lots of people have carts. You're right about that. Let me turn this around. Again. Okay. So let's chit chat. Let's have a little chit chat about why I'm so excited about a little white cart with some wheels on it. One that I can move from one room to the next, because most likely I'm going to leave this in my living room. Yeah. That's probably where it's going to stay. Found a nice little nooky corner or place in my living room and that's where this cart is going to stay and here's the deal here's why I was excited about the cart because I thought about you know I could have just gone and I could have bought another bookcase I could have done any number of things um but I did want to make it easier as far as access goes I didn't want to have to go digging in my bookcase every single time we were you know changing books reading something new but also this lady that was in a sunlight group had an awesome idea. I know for myself, I really love to kind of like check things off. I'm like one of those people, like as I get something done, there's something to be said about being finished with something um, that gives you this sense of accomplishment. And I think it gives lots of children also that sense of accomplishment. Like, oh my goodness, I finished. I did this. So here's my plan. I know that a lot of sunlighters also have like labels or whatever that they put on their books. I decided I'm not doing that either. <laughs> That's too much like work for me. Um, so, but I did go and put the books in some kind of semblance of order as they appeared in, um, you know, in the schedule of things. Um, but what I'm going to do, the most exciting part of this is every single time that my granddaughter finishes a book, whether it's a read aloud or it has to do with Bible or history or it has to do with um, just readers that she's doing, science, any book, we're going to remove it from the cart and it's going to get put away. Haven't decided where yet probably in the bookshelf that I need to reorganize. Should I share with you as I reorganize that mess that is my homeschool closet? I probably should because since I showed it to you before, it's gotten a little out of hand in there. <laughs> Maybe I should do an organization with you all. Let me know. Let me know if that's something you want to see. So we're going to take these out. So every time she finishes a book, we're going to take it out of the cart and we're going to put it away. And as you're getting into the ear, further into the year, you know, like sometimes when you get into January and you're like burnt out, like you're burnt to a crispy critter, like for real, like you're crunchy, totally fried. You can go back because I'm going to take a picture. I'm going to do a before picture. I'm going to take a picture of the cart as it sits now so that we can remind ourselves like, oh my gosh, look how many books that we've gone through. Look at how much we've accomplished. Like, because, you know, when you're a homeschooler, sometimes you feel like you're not accomplishing anything and you're tired and you're exhausted. Um, and I feel like that a lot. <laughs> I feel like, I feel like I, days, I feel like I don't accomplish much of anything. So I just thought, how fun was that? What a wonderful and beautiful idea that this woman had that to just show your children how much they're accomplishing as they are going through that the books are getting removed. Um, and how fun is that? So when you get towards the end of the year, like this cart's going to be empty and emptier and emptier until there's like nothing left on the cart. And that's super fun. And yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. 
simple and fun and motivating. Motivating not only for my granddaughter, but motivating for me on the days that I'm having a hard day, like all of us homeschooling parents have. We all have hard days. We all have rough days. Um, lots of prayers to get through those rough days, but also just a little bit of something, something, something to say, look at what we've accomplished. Look how far we've come. Not instead of looking at this big stack of books and have them, have them looming over you all school year with a cart still being full, feeling like you haven't accomplished anything. So I hope that this is a blessing to you. Um, let me know if you decide to do something like this. I just thought this was so fun, so different. Haven't done anything this way before. Just a different perspective, you know, instead of the glass half full, the glass in this case can be half empty and that'll be awesome. So God bless and I will talk to you again soon.